What's up guys welcome back to the video today um i wanted to i was just <laughs> i was just watching this video i was like you know what i um kind of decided this too late but uh, that, that's already obvious anyway i want to react to this video it's about phantom forces interest phantom forces you know i have my i think i have a whole like section on my channel dedicated to phantom forces i'm like the home page thing whatever i got like all thing dedicated to phantom forces game keep i keep coming back to i mean it's a cool game i like phantom forces it's just my PC's bad. I don't want to go on about how my PC's bad. I'm planning to fix that. If all goes according to plan. More on that at some point. I'll forget about it, to be truthful. Anyway. This kind of video has been done before. But I wanted to offer my perspective on it. As someone who is somewhat involved within the clipping community of this game. And the content creation side. I absolutely loved this game around 2017 to 2019. And now I don't. Oh, you know, I should say. I... I don't even remember when I started playing Phantom Forces, but I think I saw the demo favorite because I couldn't afford the the fucking full game, dude. It truly felt like how do I even like um like a game outside of Roblox, right? There's a game right at on like Xbox, say Xbox 360. Game on I know that shut down by the way, this is hypothetical. There's a game on Xbox and I wanna buy it, but I'm like, oh shit, I'm poor because I'm a kid, and, you know. Family can't or um Mom, let's say mom. Mom can't afford that hypothetical situation, by the way. Um, looking, what I'm trying to say is looking back, it like reminds me as reminds me as I'm a kid and can't afford games, so I gotta play the demo version. And I want to dive into my reasons as to why this game fell off in the way that it did. I think I can say without a shadow of a doubt that I've probably spent about a thousand hours on this game, playing it religiously for days on end, hoping to one day make it to the big sniping clans at the time, including Paradox Sniping, Xenon Alliance, or even Apex Domination. For any shooting Don't game that exists, it's really natural for the clipping community to arise, you know, hitting clips and making montages, providing incentive to constantly improve at the game. The thing about the Phantom Forces clipping community though, was that it was such a niche and tight knit community that it was like the ultimate you had to be there moment. Well, it was I a wasn't really there. exciting time, and you already know that I was seated whenever a new episode or team tars dropped by one of the big clans. I mean it's kind of crazy that I can even remember the exact moment when Paradox released their 2017 summer recruitment challenge and I sat there watching it thinking oh, I'm gonna make it to this clan, I'm gonna grind and hit clips and hopefully one day I get accepted. Newsflash I didn't, but over the next couple months to a year I still grinded the game in hopes to improve and it ended up hitting clips that were somewhat decent. Okay they were average but this one trick shot's pretty cool. <laughs> Oh, Phantom Forces was a sick. massive success, always making it to the Roblox front. I, did, I didn't get to like experience this personally with the clipping community. I just played Phantom Forces at one point. Um, obviously when it went free, I did end up playing that. And uh, it was good times. I didn't really play that much as a kid because I was, was a child. I don't, I don't know. I took my child life for granted. If that makes sense. I took all, all those years for granted, like 2017, and it feels for granted. Took those for granted as well. I don't, did not sound like I said that there. But yeah, I didn't get to experience that personally, but then I found Paradox. Who's, I don't remember who the first Paradox YouTuber I watched. It was either, it might have been Petty. Uh, Petty or, um, Pokey. One of the two, but I found one of them. I, I think it was Petty. And then, yeah, I found his content. And, yeah, and made great content. And then, yeah, I don't know. He stopped posting. And then... And then his channel is getting hacked. I don't know if he clicked something or what happened, but yeah, his channel got hacked and turned into the infamous crypto scams. It was honestly funny. I made a whole video about it and I edited it too, but I never posted it. It's sitting somewhere in my PC, sitting somewhere on my PC somewhere. So he ended up getting hacked and then he ended up, he got, I believe, most of his videos back, back up. Um, and then he changed his, his bio on his YouTube to like retired prefer. Professional Rolex trick shot or something. Anyway. Fail. However, fast forward a couple of years to now, 2024. The game's averaging like 3,000 players at a given time. Which isn't necessarily bad, but considering the yeah. upsurge that Roblox has had in the past couple of years, that isn't steady growth for stylists at all. And also everything true. that made the game simple is just completely gone. Everything that I loved about the game that I had spent hours and hours playing. It's because there's other FPS games. When Fan Forces came out, it was like ahead of its time type deal but then now there's all these there's all these other ones out now 
like quite literally pop over to here there's bad business actually what if let's see what happens if i search fps and uh experiences i'm fucking bad here there's gunfight with 10k arsenal's a 10k arsenal this game and box um there's rivals which is a new one it was actually really fun uh, I, I made a video on it you should go watch that bad business um front lines front lines kind of fell off i can't lie i hate to say it. roblox call of duty fell off and that video is not about that but yeah there's there's all these other fps games on roblox now and they i hate to say it but they can be miles but i don't know about miles and some of their miles but they're better than the fan force, but better than the what i'm trying to get at was completely changed and this is where stylus's strategy becomes apparent change for the sake of change it's clear that Stylus' vision for Phantom Forces didn't really align with the player bases, opting for a more realistic experience, which from a technological standpoint is amazing. Graphically, the game looks the best it ever has, and it's amazing to see how far Roblox has come as a game engine. However, the realism uh -huh. is what turned a lot of people, including myself, away from this game. The simple aesthetic is what a lot of people love. It's Roblox at the end of the day, and the player base is aware of it. And because of Stylus' vision for realism, at the end movements of the such as crouching and sliding just feels really clunky and awkward now. And it just feels like an entirely different thing I kinda to what agree. I grew up with in my I kind of agree with that. Something I've always had with this game, with the sliding, it never felt like clunky me. It always felt alright. It felt like normal sliding in an FPS game. But what I didn't like, or just, it's not didn't like, but small annoyance is the like view model. The arms and how they would like react when you sl slid I, I can't really explain it um i can't attempt to show it though if i quickly try and find an old uh, phantom forces video i made on old phantom forces uh here the way the uh arms move and um and here just the way in the way that like that when i slide the way they move and then when the way like when you slide and older versions of Phantom Forces was always more, it was always more satisfying to me, but nowadays in modern Phantom Forces, it's not like this anymore. And it's just a small annoyance. I can deal with it. I have played modern Phantom Forces and I've dealt with this. It's not going to completely deter me from playing the game. What does make me deter from playing the game is my PC, but that's a hardware issue and a completely separate issue. But yeah, um, just a small annoyance. I wish they would just like change it back and make their arms be like this. I don't know if they can or I don't know if it looks bad in their eyes or like, I don't know what the reason could be. I'm not a dev, so I don't understand that, but it could be anything. But yeah, that's, that's my, uh, I don't know if that's what he means by clunky. It doesn't feel clunky to me though. It feels like normal. Like, I'm not even kidding. I think the only thing that has stayed the exact same from the old days is this image of the hit marker that shows when you've dealt damage to someone. I kid you not, the hit marker. I mean, I stopped playing the game, I'd say around late 2018, making it to rank 160 with a pretty decent KDR. About the scope However, if I hopped into the game now, I wouldn't even make it 20 minutes without raging and just absolutely hating the experience. Okay, this is me playing this game for the first time in like two years. Hopefully I don't rage. Of course I left a dislike. Why is there music? <sighs> what? I'm pretty sure these stats have remained unchanged since 2018. What do you mean? There's music on the That's not street. a bad map. Wow, what's all this? They've really changed up this game, huh? Yeah, they have. Oh no! <laughs> it's so hard to see. What do you mean? Oh my god, what happened? Just see. I don't... Oh no! Fortnite on my tablet! Are you... <laughs> uh, dude, leave it to the Phantom Forces place. I was actually good at this game. <laughs> oh, there's so much people here. One. Two. Three. Oh, what's going on, dude? I'm just watching this man None play Phantom. that was in the consecutive feed, by the way. Oh, well, I'm just watching this man play Phantom Forces at this point. Damn. That's another thing. People just gotten better at the game, and that's what makes it hard, because I get absolutely destroyed in, like, any lobby I play. Okay. But that's just, that's just skill issue. Quite literally. No, like, memes involved. <laughs> what? I'm highly doubtful that I'll even be able to get like two consecutive kills. Like that will be impressive for me. That's what I'm saying, dude. I get I hit I get a double, dude. I'm like, oh I'm freaking out, dude. Oh my god. Oh the bolt animation, man. We're on version 10 now, bro. I used to play this game in version one. <laughs> We're using the intervention, bro. I used to sweat this gun.
20,000 pills. Bro, why is it black? Why was it black? <laughs> Destroy it. Try switching off. Uh, the intervention was, was so, you know like, so really I'm slow. So no, I won't rage reason quit. I quit this game. Now you can yeah, the intervention always felt slow to me. I don't know if that's like on purpose or not. I mean, it's a good sniper in terms of like damage and stuff, but like I don't know movement when you actually hold it, it feels really slow. The movement feels relatively fine for me. There doesn't feel clunky at all. It feels like it would in any other FPS game. So easily make the argument oh just get better at the game or skill issue or whatever yeah. right but why should i continue grinding a game that i absolutely despise the movement aesthetics and biased gun balancing of and what i mean by that last part is the absolute abysmal nerfing of the snipers but we'll get into oh, that yeah. later i don't even think that the reasons i prefer the old version of the game are that bound by nostalgia because i can easily make a comparison to another first person shooter game that is also really popular on roblox that game is none other than Arsenal, which started off as pretty much using the exact same engine as CBRO, the Roblox equivalent to CSGO, and both projects were developed by Rolf. However, Rolf decided to give Arsenal its own identity, upgrading graphics, adding an outfit system similar to that of Fortnite, Fortnite. and overall adding changes that yeah. felt economical that make it the amazing game it is now. The game still plays That's exactly got 10K the same right now. as it did way back when, and any movement added wasn't used to hinder the user experience. Well, what it did feels Arsenal like do well? Source engine well, in movement. my opinion, is the Similar. fact that Rolf is aware of the fact that this is a Roblox game and nothing more, and it knows going for anything more realistic would totally kill the fun of this game. Anyway, I wanted to take this time to look back at what made Phantom I would Forces say it's because they're good devs, experience. but like, what the devs of PF are also and a steady good downfall devs. downfall from 2018 They just onwards. don't see eye to eye scene. with the it's players. 2016, and Phantom Forces content creation has never been more prevalent. You had absolute legends like Paradox Pokey, Synthesize OG, and Petrified yeah. TV regularly uploading commentaries on the game, which were really entertaining to watch, and on top of that, fans like Paradox, that Pokey was a co-leader of, kept on growing and growing, doing more recruitment challenges, team targets, and even having a reserve team. The clipping meta at the time was simple. A quad headshot feed or five on screen was considered usable for general sniping. Triple collaterals, particularly on the crane site map or on Metro, were a fun addition to have, and trick shotting mostly consisted of the slide shot glitch, a glitch that was discovered yes, where you could launch your character into the air by lying prone underneath a stairway or tank, with the goal of trying to hit someone in the map below. A ballistics tracker, which was just a literal phone attached to your gun, I guess being a reference to the iPhone camera app where you can detect faces by tapping on the screen, Though I'm not entirely sure what the vision was here, made this trick we'll process know. a lot easier, zooming in slightly to show a little beige dot indicating where the players were. Pokey was the obvious trailblazer in the clipping department, and a lot of people were aiming to replicate his style. With these standards set in stone, a lot of people aimed to get crazy good at the game to join the big clans at the time, being either Paradox or Rays. However, I've never there was heard one player in particular who completely revolutionized the clipping scene. This player was none other than Gus, also known as Fuzzy Panda. He was someone who discovered a new strategy to feeding, which would eventually become the meta. This method was called insta swapping, and it was essentially changing to your secondary weapon after every sniper shot and then they to cancel it. the bolt animation that played, saving a pretty decent amount of time and hitting nasty feeds as quickly as possible. You could do this by either changing to your secondary weapon by scrolling your mouse, or swapping to your knife for a second by pushing the F key. Before insta-swapping was discovered as a method, you simply had to wait for the bolt animation to play before going yep, for your yep, next yep. shot, so the meta at the top became unusual to play the game without insta-swapping. You had some players who completely based their playstyle around this method, and they ended up becoming some of the best players to have ever touched the game. You had people like Arthur God, Luna, and of course the absolute legend that is Andy Pachi. I know none of these people. Peak. The game kept getting better and better, and clips kept getting crazier and crazier. Until, damn. What? Wait, 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 what? A new method of slide shotting was also discovered after the tank and stair glitch got patched, which was much easier to perform. Feeding became ridiculously fun, barrier glitches were great to get out of bounds to hit much further trick shots, and crane and escalator clips just kept getting out of hand. So much so, clans were actually starting to ban crane and escalator clips altogether. I mean, just take a look at this, can you blame them? A new map was also okay. finally introduced after two years, which was... okay, I guess. The game was peak for both casuals and clippers alike. Well, what could possibly go that's wrong? That's what we rolled me. July 4th, 2017. The beginning of the end. On Independence Day 2017, Phantom Forces had finally dropped their biggest update to date. 
the game got a crazy overhaul. From cleaning up the UI, redoing pretty much all of the sound effects in the game, and added in tons of new guns including two new snipers. They even ended up really revamping two of the maps. Update. But they also ended up removing two, including Metro. Which wasn't well received at all, so hey guys, Metro's back. <laughs> yeah. What? Oh my god! Yeah. Ah! <laughs> oh my god! But one Damn. of the biggest visual changes to the game I can never was the actual like model of your character, which pretty much remained unchanged since late 2015, and they ended up giving it a much sleeker look. Overall, this update and was pretty well received. The game looked stunning and I'm played pretty much exactly the same, thing. with movement still being smooth and slide shotting still working. Everyone was happy. Little did we know, though, that these visual changes were just the start of the steady downfall of Phantom Forces. Over the next year Don't or so, the game was still in a very, very good place. They introduced new updates here and there, such as changing the feed system slightly and adding a field of view slider. Things I wasn't necessarily a fan of, but made sense for better player optimization. New weapons also kept getting added, such as a variety of melees and snipers, and also some maps that were specifically designed for long range. However, around this time, stylists were also rampant with sniper nerfs that literally nobody asked for. Since the game's conception, gun balancing was pretty even. Snipers weren't broken to the point of making the game unplayable, since red gunners yep. always had the advantage of complete- It seemed that stylists didn't look at it this way, however adding some god-awful changes that I'm baffled even oh, got approved. Oh, for one, insta-swapping got completely nerfed. You now had to wait for the bolt animation to completely finish before even thinking about scoping in, I knew it like before where you could scope in while the animation was playing because it would still force you to finish the animation. Is this more realistic? Yes. Does it make the game fun? Not in the slightest. Feeding became impossible, yeah. and it didn't help that the red gunners didn't receive any nerfs as bad as this, and so on top of struggling to hit a consecutive feed, you were getting lasered left, right and center. More changes came about too, which I can't remember the exact time period of, but included things like adding this weird sway or vignette effect to sniping that blacked out your screen for a second and moved frantically for no reason at all, and even nerfing trickshotting for a while, a harmless act that had a more negative impact on the player's KDR than anyone else. By making it so if you shot in mid-air within a vertical line, the bullet just wouldn't register at all, giving you a hit oh. marker. Eventually, they ended up fixing some of these issues, like adding an attachment that allowed you to bypass the reload animation. We could only get this if you got enough kills with that gun for it, and also came yeah, way too late for someone like me to okay, care. But... It was also so wild that they had spent so much time reworking the snipers when the game still had so many prominent issues that could have been easily fixed by stylists if they didn't hold such a petty grudge against the clipping community. For example, in 2017, a Halloween update was introduced, changing some of the maps to make them darker, removing leaves off of the trees for that extra spook, and in Metro, all of the lights had turned from white to red. It looked pretty cool. However, after Halloween was over, the maps were left unchanged. While the darkness was removed, Metro still had the red lights for no explainable reason, and they had this for a really long time too, until eventually they were replaced by these weird yellow ones and Map still had the Halloween trees instead of reverting back. It was clear that Stylus's passion for the game was also dying, and so a complete change in direction is what they went for instead, a direction that I couldn't care less for. Mm. I'd say it was around early 2019 when I had stopped playing the game. I couldn't deal with the nonsense anymore, and Stylus wasn't going to stop. For years to come, they implemented things that made the game even more annoying and unplayable than before, and it's just such a massive shame that a game that I'd spent so much of my time playing was completely revamped for the worst. It's even crazier when you put into perspective that the game has been complete ass for more years than it was peak, just really hitting me hard that damn, this stuff was so long ago. Roblox in general yeah, is just really stale for thighs. me, but if Stylus has done Phantom Forces keeping in mind the simple nature of it, I would probably still be playing the game every now and then. It also doesn't help that whenever an old leaked version of the game crops up and gains a considerable player count, it only lasts a couple months before Stylus takes action. Yeah. It's as if they're ashamed of what their game used to be, and that fact just really saddens me. I, don't I know get that it. Paradox and all these other big clans at the time have completely died off, but to the people that are still clipping such as the crew guys or whoever else it may be, more power to you for putting up with such a mess of a game. Despite the, the resurgences the community tries to have, I just don't think it can even come close to that. Yeah, I just, I just... <laughs> Dude, I never thought I'd see the nails. The no, doctor, my window, the, the watermark. 
<laughs> I never thought I'd see the day, bro. Activate <laughs> Windows watermark in the player. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna use this feature for this. I know there's trick cursors, but dude, there's <laughs> activate Windows watermark. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not like hitting. I'm just I'm poking fun. Um, there's I. I the anime window. The insurgencies the community tries to have, I just don't think it can even come close to that period of 2016 to late 2018. It was truly an important part of my life, and the fact that I was so involved- Actually, actually, mentioned the old Phantom Forces, uh, like, place leaks thing. I want to check if they deleted- that's not the right- See if they deleted the last one I played, let's- let's check. Snap, is it still up? Updated three, oh wow, but there's no players. Well, I guess it looks like it's still up. Uh, it appears, just from this, it seems like it. No content deleted, title, the description. Let's read this. Okay, found our communities. Okay, they don't have any group wall thing. Can you allow freaking private servers? The game is right there, and you're making harder for me to get, pal. Who? Only play or loading is an hour. Loading is an hour long? Can't get in the game because it's kicking me. There seems to be issues. People seem to be complaining. The latest complaint is the, the, making it harder, apparently, without allowing private servers. I don't. It's probably just like it was deleted. It doesn't appear to be, but it's, it's dead as hell. In that community, even as a casual viewer, was truly something that was special. I guess in some ways I do feel some annoyance for grinding a game that in present day 2024 seemingly means nothing, being such a niche game that holds no significance to anyone else but a few individuals. Yeah. But honestly, kinda. I don't regret all of those hours playing Phantom Forces. When I think of my early teens, Phantom Forces is a core part of that, and the very first thing that comes to uh, mind me, I mean, Roblox is part of that, but not the best moments really. of my life. That feeling of hitting your first quad collateral, or when you're first starting out and do absolute dog shit with the intervention until one day you learned the bullet drop and it just clicked. Moments like that truly can be replaced, and maybe one day I'll find a game that fills in that void for me, but for now all I can really do is reminisce on the golden days of what once was a peak game. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Oh, well, that was a really good video. <laughs> Bro doesn't miss the old fan of Force. He missed how he felt with playing old fan of Force. Like, yeah, you heard the million times. Also, his ping on game was so sweet. Drivers. That's true. Went from fan of Forces to budget battlefield. I'd say battlefield. I don't really. Fan of Forces feels more like. Er, yeah, it feels more like battlefield to me. Budget battlefield. Rather, front lines feels more like Call of Duty. Or looks more. Because, you know, the graphics. If you haven't seen front lines, it looks. Really good. If you haven't seen it, click off the video. Anyway, yeah, uh, Phantom Forces, budget, uh, Battlefield. I disagree. The game didn't have a downfall, dude. The old fan base just, like, changes it objectively. It objectively better now. I disagree with that. Sure, maybe it is, and in, in ge generally speaking, it's better, but, like, I, a lot of people will disagree. At least a lot of people played, um, during the olden days, 20, around 2015. It's a mo Man of Wars is a not a movement game. It is an FPS first person shooter. What is this comment on? What am I reading? What are these comments? So common is first uh, game of snipers. Obviously, it's a first person shooter. You two people with guns. The other guns are snipers, but that does include snipers, assault rifles, handguns, revolvers, SMGs, some machine guns, whatever. But this I think twice. But yeah, most people play it because there's just simply no better game. Yes, there is. I hate to like say that, but the risk, bad business, front lines, um, gunfight, arsenal, they're not better games, but like, they're other games. I mean, I get, not everybody's gonna like the games, but like, they're other games. There's definitely better games than Phantom Force, though, because Phantom Force is pretty old at this point. I don't know, I think the people comment about it, how it's not that bad, and it's, I don't know, they probably just didn't play it, most likely. I didn't play old PF either. I did a little bit. I think I played the demo a couple of years back, but that's about it. And then obviously when it went free, like I said earlier, um, I did do that. But yeah, this video is 20 minutes. Oh my God. I didn't mean to record a 20 minute video, so I'll end it off here. So if you enjoyed, if you're still watching, then I, I appreciate it. Uh, anyway, leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And yeah, comment down below if you want more of this. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.